All right, welcome back to another episode of Watching Shoes. The watch is my summer watch this year. Um, it's been getting the most time, wrist time. It is the Invicta Man of War with the African meteorite dial and the sweeping second hand at the nine o'clock hour. Body made of carbon fiber. Very lightweight watch and automatic and silicone for the heat and hot lana. Shoes remain the same as the previous Gucci video and that is the Adidas Y3's real comfortable breathable shoe. And we've done a video on that one. Just scroll down if you want to check it out. Um, the next one we're going to do is this one. The reason why the paper is here because I got some feedback on my last attack of people who like paper. And Gucci is apparently aware that there are people who crave paper in their boxes. I don't. I made a very successful video with a lot of views about, uh, well, it wasn't only about the paper, but I went off on that thing because I got upset over someone making a video of a Nike shoe and they just went ham berserk over the paper and they were just so happy that Nike gave them paper. But some people told me, hey man, when I went off on them, <laughs> hey man, I like paper. So apparently Gucci's aware of it. I mean, you could build a toilet paper factory with the amount of paper that they give you for these shoes. But uh, So there you go, paper. Um, okay, so we'll leave that one there. And I did want to highlight this aspect of the Gucci experience. Pretty classy pouch for your silicate, I think it is. Um, really, really classy on y'all's part for the fabric. Anytime you can get fabric, it's just a one-up. Um, I made a comment about this not being plastic, as it is in a lot of Louis um, materials. It's actually woven until you get a design, and that's a one up on the level of quality for me, as opposed to using, you know, a plastic and just printing the logo on there. So it's a real cool step. And and thinking about it, I was like about to toss this. I was like, this is a really cool way to do this, um, as opposed to the standard. This is also from a Gucci item, but typically this is what you get. Um, a sack with the uh, silicate in there and then for whatever reason I got this one with another shoe once you had that this one one had that so uh, these things here for the Gucci this is something you can pause if you want to read those just letting you know that this is uh, chipped so they can um, figure out when the item sold and this is letting you know about the natural materials used in the item. I mean, in the uh, purchase. You can freeze those if you like reading that material. This one is for this particular shoe that I'm about to show, which is letting you know that it's real lamb. And then this one is letting you know some other stuff um, get that so you can freeze it if you like reading those things all right now on to the shoe came with a nice silky bag is it silk i doubt it but it feels silky this is the notorious infamous long sought after by me but i didn't seek those prices gucci bit is it a loafer? That's the classic. No, it is not. To be honest with you, there was a gentleman out of Africa who I used to watch a lot of his videos. And he is actually the guy who got me into the notion of a Gucci bed. He did a real good explanation of the Gucci bit loafer and when to use it and whatnot and went over his... A collection of Gucci big loafers and uh, one thing 
I did not accept about the Coochie Bit uh, Loafer, even though it has a long tradition. Um, the simplicity with which it's made was throwing me off with respect to the price. So being the cheap dude that I am, I'm like, if I get the Gucci Bit Loafer, it's going to have to do more than just be uh, a Gucci Bit. Unless I get a heck of a sale. If you get it on discount, no no worries. But these rarely go on sales um, or the sales that they go on are not significant enough to justify the simplicity with which they are made and the price. So you end up paying primarily for the significance of this particular um, boot or shoe. Um, universally recognized Gucci bit, which is copied by just about every designer um, that makes a loafer and or has the metals in between uh, the, uh, the eyelets, would-be eyelets. So I'm walking into the Gucci outlet. Shout out to Another YouTuber, Phil's Fashion, check him out if you get the chance, P-H-I-L-S, Phil's Fashion. Um, he made mention that Gucci was doing a discount in the outlet stores. I Google searched and drove to an outlet store, a Gucci outlet store, and lo and behold, the only thing holding me back from a Gucci bit was the simplicity with which they are made. I find this one. A Gucci bit boot. Man, I love breaking the rules. And this is breaking the rules. <laughs> a doggone boot. So you have that long story, traditional Gucci bit loafer. And somebody said, let's turn it up, man. Like, okay, we've been doing the same thing for a hundred years. Let's let's do something different. As Dare Queen says, you know, DQ something different. So, um, yeah, this is right up my speed. We got lamb. We've got huge piece of leather. You know, I like to have whole cut items. I've re I've done reviews of several uh, whole cut shoes. And this is one step away from a whole cut shoe. You've got this one piece of leather here. We can follow it around. Really, really nice, smooth suede. Following it around. No stitches. All the way to the back. Bam. So it's like you got a whole cut boot, except for the fact that this is a traditional shoe, which is loafer style. So you've got the loafer-esque appearance here. One piece of leather. This goes solid piece all the way through. One piece on top, one piece around. And you've got the Gucci bit setting here, which is... Uh, in the world of fashion, universally universally recognized as a, a sign of quality, a sign of uh, class, uh, classy, um, a stamp of quality, you could say. Uh, so really blew my mind to walk into this outlet and see the Gucci loafer that I did set my mind to purchase, but I was in no hurry they're everywhere because of the simplicity i said ah there's I, I i just can't bring myself to pay the money they want for it um when i look at the the work that went into it high quality materials undoubtedly they have a billion different versions but for me particularly with over 100 really high quality shoes when i look at it i needed to see more um and Bam, I got more. Full-blown lamb's wool interior. How about that? Need a pick, Afro pick to pick this out. Remember that in the Bible, uh, lamb of God. You can better believe Jesus had an Afro pick. <laughs> Hair like wool, according to the Bible. All right, so... You got the leather heel. I thought maybe that was suede, but it appears to be a leather heel. Not used to seeing leather usually have a suede heel back there. I've always said if you want to impress the buyer, give them a leather 
and soul. Well, they one up to me. Gave you a little bit of leather. Just to let you know it's Gucci made in Italy. But surrounded your foot. Top to bottom. Left to right. All the way down to the nose. With sheep's wool. What I also like about this shoe is that it's not an overabundance of wool. Sometimes when you get with the wool, you have like huge, huge, huge amounts. And it's very, very comfortable in the beginning. And then it gets pressed down. All of my wool items have been pressed down just from time, stepping on the wool, stepping on the wool. Well, the cool thing about this one is it's not much uh, wool. It's just a real thin layer nice thin layer of wool so when it gets compressed it won't change much with respect to the dimensions of the shoe so very very cool um step taken there by sh shearing down the wool so you can actually not get much change over time there's some of that wool coming off all right you've got the typical stitching of the gucci bit loafer Round, round. It it gives you all of the uh, aesthetics and all of the um, appearances of the traditional Gucci bit loafer, but you get chucka style, um, high ankle, probably above the ankle, um, and potentially has some waterproof added to it. So right in there is where that stitch combines the two. So at least up to there, you got a waterproof boot, functional boot, not just fashion, but function. So that adds to and to quality with respect to how I view shoes and fashion. So you also have a leather. What do you call it? Um, I'm not sure if you can call this Goodyear welted. It's actually stitched. So you do have the stitching going around. Kind of vanishes back there. And um, really, really cool design here. Very, 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 maybe the most hard rubber. So in the world of uh, high quality shoes lately, they've been trying to take away leather and replace it with materials. Not necessarily rubber, but just materials in, in general. And uh, you, you hear about foam and all these other type of materials. I'm not a fan of any of it. But once I pick these up, they're extremely heavy, which for me has always been a sign of quality materials. Um, and this rubber is extremely hard. So I know from experience of other high-end uh, rubbers that were very, very hard. Also on the shoes that I've already shown you. They have a very hard rubber on the bottom, and that rubber lasts. So, with respect to the hustle of using cheap materials instead of leather, um, this does not apply to this shoe. That, that hustle does not apply, because the rubber they use is extremely hard. Very hard and long-lasting rubber. On the bottom, you have Made in Italy. And uh, this is a truck driver's paradise right here. So, you know, if you're an office guy, you probably want to stick to the typical Gucci bit traditional loafer. But if you're a truck driver, as someone has called me the most fashionable truck driver they've ever seen, strange enough, they thought they were being funny, but I get that a lot. When I step out of my truck, people hit the brakes and they're like, man, you, you got to be the best truck, best dressed truck driver I've seen. I've got that my entire uh, truck driving career. <laughs> so um, right up your alley if you want to be the best dressed truck driver gucci bit boot how about that thanks for watching another episode down the hatch of watching shoes you know i like stitching and they could have easily slapped something on there and sewn it on but they embroidered the uh b or wasp or whatever that is cool touch don't have a problem with it. Doesn't scream Gucci unless you understand the Gucci bit history and or the Gucci logo. 
All right. Thanks for watching another episode of Watching Shoes. Watching Shoes. See you all on the next episode.